accidents can happen. That's why these folks have gathered at this farm in Buffalo County to learn how to respond when there is a manure spill or runoff from fields. Today we're going to be demonstrating a manure spill response and some of the techniques we can use to try to keep that manure on the farm and keep it away from sensitive areas. These demonstrations are one way to teach these techniques to farmers, ag agents, and first responders. Through nutrient management plans, it's pretty essential that farmers keep all those nutrients in the, on the field just from a profitability standpoint, but also from the environment standpoint, we don't want to see that manure get into surface waters or shallow uh, groundwater areas where there could be some contamination. And even uh, homeowners you can see it get into private wells. More than 20 of these exercises were held in Wisconsin. Some 2,000 farmers and commercial applicators have attended the sessions. They were put on by UW Extension, the Professional Nutrient Applicators Association of Wisconsin, and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. We realized uh, through custom applicators and some of the farms, uh, pr the farms that are spreading their own uh, liquid manure, the potential is pretty great to have a spill. And there's been a number of them reported. And in many cases, there wasn't proper training on how to maybe contain it uh, before it became an environmental issue. We have rolling hills here, and which means a lot of water runs, a lot of creeks, a um, lot of drainage ditches. Um, they all present challenges when trying to spread we didn't really know what the proper, uh, how to handle uh, uh, a spill with manure. And it was a good, I think, exercise for us. A good response begins with a good response plan. First, make a list of who you're going to call and their phone numbers. Make a list of the steps you'll take and the supplies you'll need to help contain the manure. It's also good to have a map showing where sensitive areas are located on your land, like culverts, streams, concentrated flow channels, and tile inlets and outfalls. Yeah, we encourage farmers to at least put the plan, have a plan in place, or think ahead a little bit as they prepare to apply their manure. And in most cases, when a pit is going to be emptied, it's going to be emptied over a course of a few days. And so um, thousands or maybe millions of gallons may be applied within a, a short amount of days. Should you have a spill, the first thing you want to do is stop the flow. Turn off pumps, close valves, clamp the hose, and repair the storage facility. Once the source is controlled, contain the spill. You can work the ground ahead of and through the spill site. To stop the flow in road ditches, waterways, and concentrated flow channels, berms or small dams are effective. If the runoff or spill occurs near sensitive sites like tile inlets, protect these areas first. Here's where you can use the plywood, hay bales, or the bucket with the bottom cut out. What we've done is basically use the, the the five gallon bucket if you have a more shallow tile line, but if you've got some taller ones, you can put in a piece of solid pipe to try to protect that tile line from getting any manure shooting through it. Report the spill to the DNR. State law requires all spills to be reported promptly. Remember, an accidental spill is not illegal. Failing to report the spill is. Once I open the gate up, yeah, you don't pay attention to that, but it, it really flows out. That's what would happen in real the real world. Preparing for an accident to understand what's, you know, what's going to happen so you're not surprised with it by it. So yeah, I think uh, we are better prepared to handle a spill. Hopefully that we'll never have.